Secretary Roy Jenkins, who shared the with fellow big cheeses and the Tory and Liberal parties. The campaign to get Britain out of the common market was led by the industry secretary. As the opinion polls start to turn against the anti marketeers Tony Benn decides to up the ante. Is half a million jobs lost? And a huge increase in food prices at a stroke caused by the common market. In 1975, John Mills was one of the organizers of the No Campaign, setting up meetings across the country as the campaign neared its climax with a debate at the Oxford Union. Mrs. Castle was up against two of the most senior Europeans, Ted Heath and the Liberal Union. Of the market miracle. Holding these views as passionately and sincerely as she does, may we assume that if the vote is yes, she would not stay on to administer those policies as a minister. If the vote goes yes, my country will need me to save it. <laughs> <Vote> <laughs> 
itself. On a high turnout, the people voted by two to one for Britain to stay in the common market. The winter of discontent was Margaret Thatcher's chance to seize power. No confidence against the government, and she won. We have not successfully rolled back the frontiers of the state in Britain, only to see them reimposed at a European level, with a European super state exercising a new dominance from Brussels. Mr. DeMar said at press conference the other day that he wanted the European Parliament to be the democratic body of the community, he wanted the Commission to be the executive, and he wanted the Council of Ministers to be the Senate. No! 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 Headlines at six o'clock. The government raises interest rates twice in one day to 15%. A unique day in London's financial markets ended with the Chancellor announcing that the pound was being suspended from the ERM. Yeah! And that the second of two dramatic interest rate rises during the day was, after all, cancelled. The government has concluded that Britain's best interests are served by suspending our membership of the exchange rate mechanism. Yeah! The Prime Minister has been defending the restrictions. Rebels, 26 Tories voted with Labour. Good evening. Despite doing everything but stand on its head to persuade Tory rebels to fall into line, the government was this evening defeated in a Commons vote on an amendment to the Maastricht Bill. My own opposition to this treaty has been known for a very long time. I remember telling the Chief Whip uh, years ago that wild horses wouldn't drag me into the lobbies for any more of, of this European nonsense. But we're saying the government is doing more of this story unless they look for a solution. And there is a solution. All we want is a referendum to let the people decide if the government agreed to a referendum. The rebellion is over, they can get the bill through Sorry. very quickly Sorry. indeed, and there'll be no more trouble. But none of them, none of the parties, have a mandate from this election to take us into federal Europe because they have all campaigned against it. What started? We will give the British people a
champion defends his title when britain applied to join the original six founding members of the european community over the day's date will probably be repeated on the 12th of april if that means we have to fight the european elections let me tell you i will fight them on the day we were once supposed to leave Europe. Nigel, 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 Nigel,